Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good day, Julia Diamond. How are you? I'm very well. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I want my audience to know that you're here to help us avoid the terminal madness for the <laughs> holiday rush. And it's almost the holidays. We got through we got through Halloween. Now we're ready for the big one. What can you help us with? That's right. Uh, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, and it really is the busiest travel day of the year. So um, a lot of potential stress, but I think one of the best ways to avoid that is just to be really efficient and thoughtful in your online booking. So, for example, Travelocity just did a report um, on the busiest airports with the highest traffic above average. So Denver, Seattle, Newark, Los Angeles, San Francisco, those are the top five cities, top five cities to avoid if you can. So if you can look at alternative airports, um, you know, Long Beach, for example, or Burbank instead of LAX, um, Colorado Springs instead of Denver, these are some ways to avoid uh, additional crowds and lineups, uh, but also some ways to save money. Looking at alternative airports is actually a great uh, budget tip. Um, so looking uh, online is key. If you haven't made any of your Thanksgiving travel plans yet, um, Travelocity is having a great fall sale from now until end of December. So you can get um, flights and hotels and flight packages up to 50% off. Uh, Cancun, for example, uh, it's, it's a great time to go as, as long as your family's okay with it. You know, you can uh, choose margaritas over turkey this year. So Travelocity.com slash fall has a lot of great specials. I would definitely urge you to check out if you don't have your Thanksgiving uh, plans already organized. Yes. Uh, one of my producers uh, left for vacation yesterday. They're taking their vacation a little bit early because they don't want to get caught in the lines. They don't want to get caught in all the things that travel. So they went on and went skiing early. Very nice. Yeah, if you have a flexible travel schedule, um, I mean, go early. Typically, Wednesday before Thanksgiving and Sunday after Thanksgiving, those are the busiest travel days. Um, if you can fly Thanksgiving morning, that's great. But if you have the freedom to take off more time beforehand, that's even better. Um, Google Flights is a great resource to find out what is the best day to fly. You can sort of play with the parameters. Um, that'll help you with the alternative airports as well. Um, Another great app is Hopper, and <clears throat> excuse me, and that will help with a, a price prediction on <clears throat> sorry uh, whether it's best to ha uh, to fly a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Sunday morning, for example. So just a, a few additional um, helpful tools. Julia Diamond is also known as you probably know her more as the travel junkie. You can find her online. We'll get that to you at the end of the uh, conversation. Julia, let me ask you, this travel season, is there any great incentives that we need to look for? Like, uh, you gave us a lot, but like, is it hotel, rental car, airfare? What's the great thing for people to look for when they do go online? Um, well, it, de it depends what you're looking for. I mean, I would say take advantage of sales like the one that uh, Travelocity is having this fall. Uh, depending on if you want to stay domestic or international, um, it will have something for everybody. But unfortunately, you know, getting to the airport, being at the airport, that's often the real drag for people. All those lineups and security. The travel part's fun. It's just all the in-between. Um, so a few quick apps that for the technologically savvy can help you. Um, Waze is a crowdsourced traffic app, which can help you get from your house to the airport in the most efficient manner. 
um, when you're actually at the airport after you've checked in online, you know, gone through airport security, uh, been efficient through that way. Um, Gate Guru is a really helpful app which will um, identify all the restaurants and amenities that are in your particular terminal. So say you've got a layover or say you're, God forbid, delayed, um, you can get a manicure perhaps or a massage or use their yoga room or go to a restaurant that's been highly reviewed. So knowing your gate, um, knowing your terminal can be really helpful if you've got a lot of time to kill. Um, so, you know, th those are a few things to keep in mind. And, uh, you know, often some of the most stressful parts are getting through those security lines. So definitely packing um, with that in mind. So if you're carrying on, you want to keep your laptop easily accessible, your liquids easily accessible, so you can just pull them out and put them in the bin. And, you know, know what's coming up. You know you've got to take all your coins out, your belts off, your shoes off. Uh, so be prepared as the line is moving, not only for your own sanity, but to help everyone else. Julia, where would you send us to find out more about uh, Travelocity? And where would you send us to find out more about you? Because you know your travel. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, for the uh, you know for flights and fall deals, definitely check out Travelocity.com slash fall. And for more of my tips and travel experiences, I have a blog called Travel Junkie Julia. And you can find out more about me there. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. My audience told me they knew you as Travel Junkie Julia before you came on. <laughs> That's quite a name. Thank you, Julia. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Happy holidays.